Hey, YouTube Rando here. Uh, I wanted to do a uh, book review today, first one of sorts, uh, and I wanted to review this book because uh, I, I kind of I blasted it on uh, my Shit Hit the Fan library or the uh, garage sale pickups. I can't remember which one it was, but uh, you know, I, I kind of put the book down quite a bit. And, I flipped through it a couple times, and I'm gonna tell you what I, I feel the same about it as I did then. It just uh, just makes you feel dirty, man. It, it, it's not a <laughs> it's not a good book. Uh, I would not suggest anybody go out and buy it, but if you do, definitely don't buy it for list price because it's like 65 bucks. Uh, I bought it. I, I want to say I paid a dollar for it. Uh, if I would have had to pay any more than a couple dollars for it, I wouldn't have bought it. But uh, that being said, also I would I would like to say nobody try anything out of this book. I mean, it, it's you're just gonna get yourself hurt. Uh, there's shit in here that only a chemist can understand, so I wouldn't go messing with it too much. And actually, the guy, William Powell, he's actually fighting to get this book taken off the shelf right now. Uh, has been for like 20 years now. Now, like I said, I, I, I flipped through it. And I'm going to tell you, there's entire sections here that, that's just useless. Like, uh, yeah, that's just ridiculous, you know. Nobody needs an entire set, you know. Bananas, really? Really? There's really somebody desperate enough, enough out there to use bananas as a drug. So, there you have it, YouTube. Just ridiculous. Uh, this one I, I kind of like, this section. Uh, this section I like. It's the natural, non-lethal, and lethal weapons. Uh, you know, this one's okay. Uh, the explosives, uh, I, would, I wouldn't try to make any of that shit because I'm not a chemist, like I said. And... Not only do you need to know your uh, chemistry, but you got to have lab equipment for this shit, man. Like beakers and, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, the uh, best section in here is going to be the this section right here. The lethal and non-lethal weapons. Uh, man, they go through everything from hand knives to uh, guns. Uh, you can see guerrilla training, pistols and revolvers, rifles, semi-auto, shotgun, converting a shotgun into a grenade launcher, silencers. See, like some of that shit I would never use. Uh, silencers. The, I've looked at the uh, converting a shotgun into a grenade launcher and it looks like it would blow your face off so uh, I definitely wouldn't try that. The silencers look like uh, you know it ain't nothing out of a James Bond movie it's something out of like uh, Deliverance so I, I definitely wouldn't try that crap. Uh, chemicals and gases that's just useless you know and I don't need to gas anybody. I, how to make TNT. Now, I, I kind of looked into that, and like I said, if you're not a chemist, it, it's ridiculous, man. It, you know, this whole section right here is uh, bullshit, except the booby traps. Uh, they look kind of cool. You know, it looked like they would work. Uh, I wouldn't try them unless I was in a shit hit the fan situation, so, you know, uh, it ain't something I would just set around the house. But, yeah. Uh, This section right here is the rifle section. It's a good, it's a good little section. Uh, tells you about the guns, but then it, it'll it'll give you uh, modifications you can make to them. Uh, some legal, some illegal. I wouldn't try any of them, but uh, revolvers. Uh, this is a good section right here, nonetheless. And. Uh, you start getting back here is when it gets ridiculous, but, uh, you know, it, I, I'm not going to need to know how to make counterfeit money in a shit hit the fan situation, so I would probably pull most of these sections out and use them as toilet paper. The rest of them will be, uh, you know, we'll keep, the, the first two chapters will probably just, just go away. I, I don't care to know how to get high, you know, I don't 
don't get high, so. Uh, but I would keep this section. I would keep this section, even though 90% of it I would never be able to do. You know, might find it useful. Uh, all these traps right here. They're pretty cool. The pipe trap. Uh, I looked into that one. It, it looked cool. The lamb trap looked re really cool. Lamp, sorry. Uh, shows you how to make detonators and, and all kinds of other shit. Uh, which I would never be able to make. So, uh, I, I looked into this section right here. The Air Force Survival Kit. That's, that's pretty neat. So, if you get the book, read it. It's worth... Uh, it's worth the five minutes it takes you to read that chapter or those pages, whatever. So there you have it, YouTube. Uh, if you can pick up the book for cheap like I did, I, I would do it. it it's worth a, a dollar or two, you know, at, at most. But, you know, you look at this list price right here. Where's it at? Sixty-four ninety. Come on. Really? Paperback book, sixty-four ninety, And it tells you really big right here. Keep in mind that, uh, you know, this shit's illegal, more or less. So, and use common sense and don't try anything around this, around, you know, tells you don't give it to morons or children, so that says something. But, yeah, so if you have a, you know, a copy, I, I wouldn't just throw it away. I would, uh, keep it, but, um, like I said, 90% of it's bullshit. The other 10% is kind of useful, so... You know, use your own judgment on the what what uh, chapters you would actually use, and uh, you know, and also just don't go out and just buy this from a bookstore. You know, pick it up somewhere that you can just uh, buy it for a couple bucks. Don't go spend no sixty five dollars on it. That that's just retarded. And I think you could pick them up on eBay for about twenty five. That's still too much though. All right, YouTube. I hope you find this useful. Thanks.